If Harry Potter was set in the United States, how would the story change? Quidditch coach is the highest paid professor at the school. Harry would probably live in New Jersey, Ron would probably live in Kentucky or Tennessee, and Hermione would probably be from California. They would go to Isle of Erany. I spelled it wrong it's the North American Wizarded School, which is in Massachusetts. There would be a train, but only four people in Boston, New York, Philly, DC corridor. Everyone else would use flying cars. Outside of that it is a typical American boarding school. You bring up a good point. In the Harry Potter universe do all of the kids from Scotland go south to London to get on a train to bring them back to F in Scotland. It seems like all of the students are on the train so WTF. F the Scots I guess the Mayo. The Hogwarts Express is traditional. Particularly for first years. I mean. Come on. The Malfoys use it with apparition the flu network, and presumably various other insta travel options. Dropping your kids off at King's Cross from across the country isn't that much of a stretch. Airport Terminal 9 and 3 quarters. The kids run through a magic wall and still have to go through wizard sap. Is that more than 8 milliliters of of healing potions Harry? To be fair, Hogwarts probably could have used another level of security. Eagles instead of owls. Sasquatch instead of centaurs, eagles instead of owls, too conventional, leave it to the wizarding world, to adopt the mythical Ben Franklin's turkey idea instead, idk how the f that had work as a delivery service, mind you, but still, turkeys can run, and also fly a bit, they can climb trees, for instance, I imagine magic ones could do more, okay, as a non-US national, I had to look this up, I can't imagine how it would work either, but it has enormous comedic potential. Pardon me, gobble gobble, you've got mail. I think that turkeys, due to their tastiness, would be a single use bird. Taco Tuesdays at the Great Hall. Disappointing how there isn't already a established Taco Tuesday. Zero fifths for everything Harry Potter related. All I can think of is Nelly trying to eat a taco on the office. Do British people really not understand the joy of a good taco? Nathan Fillion World have been cast as Gilderoy Lockhart. I feel like that would actually work well enough. Not all changes gotta be bad. The Rock has Hagrid. This Quidditch match is brought to you today on ESPN by Swither, the official broom of the Quidditch Cup. I can just imagine Harry having one of those basic ones that come apart in like four pieces, only to be gifted the super nice ones with the button that sprays. The NCAA might have something to say about him accepting a gift that valuable. Snape would have fallen to his death from Nakatomi Tower. Yippee ki yay. Muggle fur. Harry hard. Harry hard too. Harry hard. With a vengeance. Live free or Harry hard. A good day to Harry hard. Now I have a wand. Ho ho ho. Harry Potter is a Christmas movie. I'm not a common sorcerer I'm an exceptional one. And since I'm moving up to alchemy you should be more polite. There needs to be some fanfic where Snape and 10 plus European wizards do a heist at Gringotts. You've obviously never been to Clotho in a city wizarding school. Link for those who haven't seen this Key and Peel sketch and here's a Vimeo link in case the YouTube video is blocked in your country. Abracadabra school for special needs wizards at 161 ranks higher than Clotho. Damn. Vincent Clotho is such a heavy Ghostbusters reference that I honestly expected to see the Ghostbusters mixed into this skit. How have I never seen this? That was wonderful. We got too little back here on Swiffers. Oh my god that's amazing. Thank you. Now normally we would not touch the kids like this when they're in human form. Paraphrasing. We don't have the funds to change him back. Normally this would be wrong. But he's a cat now. So it's fine. Favorite part of that skit. I lose it at the freaking do-rag. The half the team is riding mobs. We got too little and asterisk S on Swiffers line gets me every time. Here Daryl got turned into a rat. Pets rat. Oh wait point wait point this isn't Daryl this is just a rat. Wizard Pepper. One in five girls in this school is pregnant with a demon baby. Here is a want with a silencer. Why? And I ask again. Why? We got five girls pregnant with demon babies. I like the part where they are riding around on a swither. Straight out of Clotho. Crazy muggle F named Ice Cube. From the coven. Called Warlocks with Attitude. Ron would be from a farm and wear a cowboy hat. There'd be a lot more denim in the We Are Lie household. The part about Harry marrying his best friend's sister, so his mother figure can be his mother-in-law would be the same though. Janae We Are Lie. Yippee ki yay. Muggle lover. 
Howdy Harry, Ron. What are you doing here? Rescuing you. Of course partner, I think they could also be like an Appalachian family that lives in a holler in the East Kentucky coal fields. I feel exposed. Ron would be from Utah and there would also be like 8 more Wheelie siblings. Several of which have children of their own. Now I want a Wizarding World series that takes place in the 19th century Old West. Or maybe even a bit further back. Lewis and Clark were actually wizards that needed to tame the magical new world before non-magical settlers moved in. This is actually a cool idea, would the entire expedition be wizards, or are these two trying to hide the blatant magical world from them? Do the Native Americans know about magic? Master has given Dobby a Glock, Dobby F-R-E-M-A an asterisk, that he is point not silent. Dudley Wold been a gigalo, F and magic, how does that work? What's wrong Potter? Don't like Fago. I tried Fago for the first time recently. The only flavor the place had was cotton candy. It tasted exactly like cotton candy, but I don't know if that's a good thing. Big de Gallo. This is my favorite comment lol. Side note, my coworker today said her friend is now dating a charlo, and I misheard her, and thought she said back quote chagallo, as in a charlo jagallo and this was a word I didn't know yet. I was so, so disappointed to find out I had misheard her, be the change you want to see in the world. They would change philosopher's stone to sorcerer's stone, never understood that one. Why translate it when surely philosophers are a thing in America too? The editors wanted Rowling to change the name to Sorcerer's Stone, so that the readers would know the book is about magic, and not some philosopher with a theory about a stone, and sends a random guy on a mission to find it. Keep in mind, when the first book came out it was just another kid's book. The US publishers won, didn't think enough of the US population had heard of a philosopher's stone before, she didn't make it up, the name and idea is very old, and two, they didn't think a children's book with philosopher in the title would sell. By making the change they made the type of book more obvious from the title, while widening the appeal, if it wasn't for the minor detail that sorcerer's stone isn't the correct name for object being described the change makes perfect sense. Because philosophers are considered too snooty in the way they talk, nobody cares for the philosopher's stone. The philosopher's stone is myth much older than Harry Potter, but the publishers didn't think anyone in America would get the reference. I guess some people outside America also missed it. Seeing as the book is set during the early 90s, probably a few more mentions of what an incredible run Michael Jordan and the Bulls were having. Front page of the Daily Prophet, MJ is a wizard. That was probably literally a headline at some point in real life. Michael Jordan takes a break from basketball and plays Quidditch instead of baseball. The Looney Tunes then show up to help defeat the evil Slyther in Quidditch team. This is, I'm assuming, inspired by this tweet, Harry Potter and the 93 NBA Finals. Quidditch would be more like American football, Greenwich. A full contact sport where riding the broom surfboard style is encouraged. If the school is in the northeast it would just be lacrosse on brooms. Well, they don't play Quidditch in the US in Harry Potter books. They play Quadput, and instead of bludgers, the balls explode. This is all canon. We took care of our witch and wizard problems in 1692. This made me lol, laughing, which. Azkaban would be at full capacity, with a disproportionate percentage of muggle-born prisoners on non-violent potion-related offenses. Azkaban would be a private prison owned by Death Eaters who donate a million galleons per year to Fudge's super PAC. Hi my name is Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way. Thank god somebody else remembers this. It felt like a fever dream I had in junior high. Tom Riddle and the War of Wizard Aggression. War of Muggle A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-O an asterisk. No train ride to Hogwarts. Instead, parents will be dropping them off by car. A huge parking lot just outside Hogwarts. And instead of Diagon Alley, a large wild mart exists surrounded by nothing more than another parking lot. And they don't even need to use magic to hide the school. Just put it in Nebraska. Wizarding Warmut would be amazing. No, it's just a Warmut. The secret entrance to Wizarding Warmut is inside a target. Madame Pomfrey would charge out the ass for the scale grow. Madame Pomfrey would have Tylenol, because it's a public school. What public school did you got to where the nurses had medicine? Mine just had ice packs. And even then you were lucky, if you got one. In extended canon Harry Potter's family fortune was made from Skelgrow and several cosmetic potions patented by his grandfather Fleamont Potter. 
He was apparently an extremely skilled potions master to the point of fame. Many potions are detrimental if gotten wrong, and are expensive to make so pre-bottled medical grade potions are expensive. Skell grows hundreds of galerans. He was apparently an extremely skilled potions master to the point of fame. I'd believe it, if Hermione had pointed out that fact at some point. AYN runs Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. You're a wizard, Harry. Hagrid said, and you're coming to Hogwarts. What's Hogwarts? Harry asked. It's wizard school. It's not a public school, is it? No, it's privately run. But then I accept. Children are not the property of the state. Everyone who wishes to do so has the right to offer educational goods or services at a fair market rate. Let us leave at once. Malfoy bought the whole team brand new Nimbus clean sweeps, Ron said, like a poor person. My sides. Hermione ate with desire for the both of them to master her, but nobody paid her any attention. They had empires to build. Harry and Ron stood before the mirror of their eyes. My god, Ron said. Harry, it's your dead parents. Harry's eyes flicked momentarily over to the mirror. So it is. This information is neither useful nor productive. Let us leave at once. To assist Hagrid in his noble enterprise of raising as many dragon eggs as he sees fit. In spite of our country's unjust dragon trading restrictions. This is amazing. I cannot do that. This wand represents my wealth. Which is itself a tangible result of my achievements. Wealth is the product of man's capacity to think. Harry said bravely. Voldemort gasped. Snort. Professor Snape stood at the front of the room. Sort of Jewishly. I'm dead. Hermione ate with desire for the both of them to master her. But nobody paid her any attention. They had empires to build. Give me your wand. Boy. Voldemort hissed. I cannot do that. This wand represents my wealth. Which is itself a tangible result of my achievements. Wealth is the product of man's capacity to think. Harry said bravely. Voldemort gasped. For people who like this check out LPD, Libertarian Police Department, by Tom O'Donnell. Asterisk I was shooting heroin, and reading the fountainhead in the front seat of my privately owned police cruiser. When a call came in, I put a quarter in the radio to activate it. It was the chief. Bad news. Detective. We got a situation. What? Is the mayor trying to ban trans fats again? Worse. Somebody just stole 447 million dollars worth of bitcoins. The heroin needle practically fell out of my arm. What kind of monster would do something like that? Bitcoins are the ultimate currency. Virtual. Anonymous. Stateless. They represent true economic freedom. Not subject to arbitrary manipulation by any government. Do we have any leads? Not yet. But mark my words. We are going to figure out who did this. And we are going to take them down. Provided someone pays us a fair market rate to do so. Easy. Chief. I said. Any rate the market offers is. By definition. Fair. He laughed. That's why you're the best I got. Lisowski. Now you get out there. And find those bitcoins. Don't worry. I said. I'm on it. I put a quarter in the siren. Ten minutes later. I was on the scene. It was a normal office building. Strangled on all sides by public sidewalks. I hopped over them and went inside. Home Depot presents the police, I said, flashing my badge and my gun and a small picture of Ron Paul. Nobody move unless you want to. They didn't. Now, which one of you punks is going to pay me to investigate this crime? No one spoke up. Come on, I said. Don't you all understand that the protection of private property is the foundation of all personal liberty? It didn't seem like they did. Seriously, guys, without a strong economic motivator, I'm just going to stand here and not solve this case. Cash is fine, but I'd prefer being paid in gold bullion or autographed pendulette posters. Nothing. These people were stonewalling me. It almost seemed like they didn't care that a fortune in computer money invented to buy drugs was missing. I figured I could wait them out. I lit several cigarettes indoors. A pregnant lady coughed and I told her that secondhand smoke is a myth. Just then, a man in glasses made a break for it. Subway eat fresh and freeze. Scumbag. I yelled. Too late. He was already out the front door. I went after him. Stop right there. I yelled as I ran. He was faster than me, because I always try to avoid stepping on public sidewalks. Our country needs a private sidewalk voucher system. But, thanks to the incestuous interplay between our corrupt federal government and the public sidewalk lobby, it will never happen. 
I was losing him. Listen, I'll pay you to stop. I yelled. What would you consider an appropriate price point for stopping? I'll offer you a thirteenth of an ounce of gold and a gently worn back quote bob bar back quote 08 feet extra large long sleeve men's t-shirt. He turned. In his hand was a revolver that the constitution said he had every right to own. He fired at me and missed. I pulled my own gun, put a quarter in it, and fired back. The bullet lodged in a USPS mailbox less than a foot from his head. I shot the mailbox again. On purpose. Alright, alright. The man yelled, throwing down his weapon. I give up. Cop, I confess. I took the bitcoins. Why'd you do it? I asked. As I slapped a pair of Voikas Greek yogurt presents handcuffs on the guy. Because I was afraid. Afraid. Afraid of an economic future free from the pernicious meddling of central bankers. He said, I'm a central banker. I wanted to cold cock the guy. Years ago, a central banker killed my partner. Instead, I shook my head. Let this be a message to all your central banker friends out on the street. I said, no matter how many bitcoins you steal, you'll never take away the dream of an open society based on the principles of personal and economic freedom. He nodded because he knew I was right. Then he swiped his credit card to pay me for arresting him. I shot the mailbox again on purpose, had me rolling. I had to put a quarter in my glasses to read that. It's funny because Harry is only rich because he inherited a ton of gold from his parents and did nothing to earn any of it. He made himself Harry Potter and the Deathly Weapons. Welcome to Hogwarts y'all. Instead of Harry, Ron and Hermione, their names would be Dylan, Ron and Hannah. Sorry Ron, you're just a Ron. They drink Mountain Dew. Diagonally is a Simon Mal's property. Hagrid is played by John Goodman. Dumbledore is played by Samuel L. Jackson. The wheel eyes flying car is a black Dodge Ram with truck nuts and a gun rack. Did you put your mother refine name in the mother refine goblet of mother refine fire Harry you dumb mother refer? Dumbledore asked calmly. There would be an adventure, like the ones on Halloween and Christmas, on Thanksgiving. Neither the Hogwarts Express nor the night bus would be in existence. The only way to get around would be privately owned brooms, or Elon Musk's hyperflu. Fantastic beasts and where to find them. Yep, this right here. Wizarding America isn't great by any means, and is starkly different from European wizards. But isn't this ridiculous idea of America, like America is less racist against other wizards, but more racist against muggles and other races. I simply cannot forgive the word nomage. Not only is it clunky, rude and uncreative, it only sounds good in a South London accent. It's not Leviosa, it's Yippie K.E.A. Mothurfer, say Axio again, I dare you. Mothurfa, Expelliarmus, nor, that spells for pusses and commies, son, we got stand your ground laws, Avada Kedavra. Harry Potter and the chamber is loaded, Harry Potter and the half blood crypts, yeah a gangster, Harry, Harry Potter and the prisoner of Alcatraz, Harry Potter and the goblet of Fanta, Harry Potter and the deathly hollow points, Harry Potter and the prisoner of Guantanamo, I think you mean Harry Potter and the deathly weapons. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer, Stone Cold Steve Austin. My name is Professor Steve Austin I'm your defense against the corporate ministry teacher. Now give me a hell yeah. Harry Potter and the prisoner of a for-profit incarceration system. Harry Potter and the goblet of Starbucks. Harry Potter and the half cafelat. Harry Potter and the order of supersized fries. Harry Potter and the deathly portion size. The flying car would be either a Dodge Charge or a Ram 1500. Nap, a station wagon or a minivan. It belonged to the Wesley's FFS. They have way too many kids to transport. Late 80s asked Rovan. He would have received a letter from Samuel L. Fury inviting him and his powers to something called the Avengers Initiative. Axio Glock. No one would have a British accent. Hermione Granger would become Harmony Danger and she would be blonde and have no actual lines. She would just smile seductively and wink a lot. Ron Wheelie would become Ron Weathers and he and his family would be black, but only to tick a box for marketing purposes. Ron's role would be simply to be Harry's sidekick. Harry Potter himself would actually be Harris Potter and he absolutely would if I'm not be wearing glasses. I can tell you that right if I'm now. He absolutely would if I'm not be wearing glasses. That's because he'd be wearing sunglasses. Half of the school would deny the existence of Voldemort. Wait a minute. 
half the country would hoard ones and the other half would demand tight wand regulation. 